Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Is it possible to prepare for the arrival of Mahdi salam without a shaykh? What if we live too far from the Osmanli Durga yet want to be following the right path? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Those are two separate questions. Huh? It's not necessarily uh, connected. If you live far from the Durga but you want to be on the right path, to be following, Durga is a Durga. Durga, there is a Sahib of the Durga, the owner of that Durga. The owner <coughs> of that Durga is not confined, contained by the Durga. So you can be very far away and you can be connected to, for example, our Shaykh, and you are still on the right way if that connection is strong and you're following the Sohbet and you're putting it in your lives. You can be very far away, but you're still following, you will be on the right path. You can be here 24 hours inside the Derga, but you're not connecting, you're not following. You don't want to be here, but you're here for years. But you're not putting the Sohbet in your lives, you're not seeing the changes. You are here for years, but you're not on the right path. That faith is not going to save you now, because your heart is not here. Now to the question, is it possible to prepare for the coming of Mahdi salam without a shaykh? First you have to understand what a shaykh is. Is it possible to prepare for the coming of the Antichrist, the Jal, who is the Antichrist, no? without being a Muslim, for example. Can you? You can, to a certain point, but after that certain point, you cannot go further. You cannot go further. Up to a certain point, you know that he's going to represent all these evil things, but you cannot go further than that, because then that time, you need the Prophet ﷺ to bring you to a higher understanding of what the Antichrist is, what the Dajjal is. So you're asking me the question, is it possible to prepare for the arrival of Mahdi salam without a shaykh? What is that shaykh? The shaykh is the inheritor of the Prophet. You're saying, can I prepare for the arrival of Mahdi salam? Can I prepare myself? You're concentrating so hard on Mahdi salam, huh? Concentrate on Dajjal, because Mahdi is not going to come for nothing. He's coming because of Dajjal. He's not just going to come to declare himself and turn this world into a golden age. He's coming to defeat Dajjal. Your question should be, is it possible to prepare for the arrival of Dajjal without a sheikh? That is a bigger question. If you're not preparing for Dajjal, you cannot prepare for Mahdi. It is impossible. Because Dajjal is going to come looking like a prophet. He's going to come with the charisma of prophets. He's going to come having um, powers that people are going to think that these are miracles. And majority of the people, even those who are calling themselves Muslims, are going to get tricked, tricked, fooled by this. How are you going to know now? Don't listen to what I have to say. Listen to what Bayazid al Bistami, Sultan al Arifin, is saying. The one who has no shaykh, his shaykh is shaitan. So you have no shaykh. Your shaykh is shaitan. How are you going to know whether that one is Mahdi or Dajjal? Now, you have no shaykh, but you have warmth towards the Awliyaullah. You believe in them. Safety will reach to you some way, somehow. You are not formally accepting one, but maybe that one is accepting you. That's different. But if you intentionally say, I don't want to follow any shaykh, nothing, but I want to prepare for Mahdi alayhi salam, that time you are preparing for Mahdi, but you're thinking it's Mahdi, but it's actually Dajjal. There's so many that are doing that. So many. Don't you know? 
Even the government got fed up with one and arrested him. They got fed up with him years and years and years and years. He's saying, I'm not Mahdi. I'm never Mahdi. You understand? And he's dancing. And he's dancing with his little kittens. And he's always talking about Mahdi, 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 Mahdi. I'm not Mahdi. But with his people, they're believing him to be Mahdi alayhi salam. But whatever he's teaching them are the teachings of Dajjal. The teachings of Dajjal, but thousands are following him. Even the government got fed up and they locked him up. And there are so many people who are praising him too. Now they're afraid to get locked up. <laughs> are you like that? So people are, they're wrong. Black is white and white is black. This is the Ahir Zaman. This is how it's going to be. Not only that one, so many people have declared themselves to be Mahdi. So many. Not only this time, but since the Prophet said it was time. Continuing through the ages, people every few hundred years, every hundred years, one Mahdi saying there is Mahdi. I'm saying it would be smarter. They should team up, you know, good cop, bad cop. They should team up. This one says, hey, let's do this. I'm going to say I'm Mahdi. You say you're Dajjal, okay? That time we can fool even more people because I see everyone's declaring to be Mahdi, but no one is declaring themselves to be Dajjal. And these Mahdi's, they don't even know what they're fighting against. That one was not even fighting. That one says, no, everywhere it is now the time of golden age. Before, at least, he was saying these are enemies, 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 right? That's why they locked him up. And then he turned and he became one of them. So all those enemies, he invite on his show now. Now he says, no, 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 don't fight against. No enemies. Love. Everything, everywhere is love. Now is the time of Mahdi alayhi salam. And now is the time of peace and love and prosperity and everything. They're lying like that. Like Sheikh Ali would say, may their tongues fall off. Yeah. So, be careful. Yes, you may prepare yourself, but up to a certain level. Beyond that level, be very careful. You have to have a guide. You're talking about one of the highest knowledges in the world that ever has been revealed to the world. It's like someone saying, can I climb up Mount Everest? One of the highest, if not the highest mountain, no? Can I climb up Mount Everest without a guide and without special equipment? We say, yes, you can. Maybe 100 feet, maybe. But beyond that, you cannot. Beyond that, if you go, it's very dangerous for you. Beyond that, you have to have a guide. Beyond that, you have to have special equipment. Not only that, beyond that, you have to have training, no? You have a guide, you have the equipment, you watch thousands of videos. It's not going to cut it. You have to be trained. And many people that with their training, they have died along the way. What well, makes us think that we are so special? But if that one is sincere, Allah will send him a guide, not to worry. Assalamu alaikum.